your boy 106 from heaven back with another video and um i'm tired of shit as you may be able to tell from my energy so we're gonna keep this quick and to the point uh shout out to cool 0210 or 0210 uh seems to be a very vetted uh jojolian or jojo personality uh also i believe either help translate um jojo or help put in a format in which it could be uploaded quickly i imagine kind of use the raw leaks and uh all that and just put a little bit of flavor to it but got it out there a little bit early um i think it usually come out around the 19th uh those 20 those anime that drop on the 20th so a little bit early but i figured we go ahead and hit this up and get over with so you know it's on hiatus last month uh oh yeah we gotta do a uh intro so let's go to the intro this is what happened um... all right we're back uh this first impressions format this might be a l because i, I think this would be better if i just kind of reviewed it um but i'm hoping for something big so first panel uh the cover all paths shout out to attack on titan uh past the titan <laughs> Shout out to Attack on Titan, the uh, L of the month. Um, I don't know. This is very menacing. I don't know what that is, but this is a very bubbly, very bubbly cover. Uh, Toru look like a PMFer. Um, Totoro Akifu, I.E. a stand, looking interesting. What is? Well, I don't understand what's happening with, with um. Mitsurugi here, like he's like unraveled or some shit. And Paisley Park. Let's get to the let's get to the uh so okay, so this is the um this is actually the cover of the, I guess the next um you know, the Shonen Jump magazine. I haven't bought one of a Shonen Jump magazine, I don't know how long, but so they have Joe they have JoJo frontlining it, headlining it. And it appears that oh we're in a new chapter now, I guess. Uh a new arc. The only arc the other arc was I guess only two chapters. The one that succeeded, um, endless calamity. Yeah. So what I was what I was guessing is that, what the way that um, Toru stand works is that it was pretty much unfe like not feasible for like to have a real drawn out long battle because of the simple fact that like it appears you need multiple people to kind of decoy the stand. For Jojo or Jojo, I do. I'm I'm like tired as hell right now. Josuke get a shot off, so having like a long battle was not going to logically make sense, and um, it just like like a, a whole brawl that type of that just never really seems to make sense in this universe. Like this universe seems to be very centered around quick quick endings that kind of uh culminate after a long strategic kind of back and forth when you think of um uh even josuke's first quote-unquote fight with um the fucking little kid with um who i i thought like he was like 12 and then like i don't yeah i don't know about this there, there needs to be someone to say, say something about this why is that little ass kid the youngest uh higashi kata I'm not even gonna bring it up, dude. It's, it's not gonna bring it up. It's, it, it's in the wake of uh, EDP and his career being ended. I'm not gonna bring up uh, little kids, but I don't like the way that uh, Iraqi drew that little ass girl. But uh, yeah. let's get to the fucking chapter. What the fuck am I talking about? <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, an invisible bubble. So Toru, I guess, but Toru has been able to see the other. Um, soft and wet bubbles so when they say invisible i'm not sure they really mean that but that might be a bad translation it could be translate uh translucent i think that would be a preferable um translation are these nurses going to the studio the uh the host of what was the wokakaka samples that toru had it's like uh, it's like lemon se uh, seltzers. <laughs> They're selling uh, lemon white claws. That thing is like perfectly rounded too. That's the craziest thing. It looks like it's got like 
it, it has like an effect of um you can't see my me doing this right now but it has an effect of being smaller and then expanding because if you look at the it's hard to really know if this is the purpose if you look at the kind of vantage point the way this is drawn this hole definitely appears to be smaller than this hole now holy shit you're so, so scared <laughs> the fucking aids the Dude, that shit gives me fucking tingles. I hate looking at that shit. It really does give me tingles, man. Um, the AIDS overtook Joe. He still has an open eye. He might be dead, but he has an open eye, so I assume he's alive. He also has the kind of spirit flowing from him. Well, that's not... I think usually the, the, the spirits, when like someone's about to pass away, is drawn kind of wispier, but... Or go on to the go back to that Gashikata estate. Josuke appears to be fucked up in the crib. Um, yo, Yasuho is so fucking like pang. Like she, she is, uh, she's cute. So he can't see the quote unquote invisible bubble. I think translucent or transparent might be a uh, a better word to use. Holy shit! Wait point where he does in fact have a swirling effect with the blood a whirling effect on his rib uh and it's <laughs> it uh <laughs> it's taking his ass out of this <laughs> yo this shit is like fucking like a rasengan against kabuto And due to him being fucked up, the... I don't understand why they can't fucking dodge that. Like, I, I still to this point... They saw it come down for, like, ten minutes. I know it wouldn't matter if they tried to dodge it or not, but, like... They didn't even try. And then Nut King called... <laughs> I don't think Nut King called, like, stop anything of value, but... Um... Yasuo is just such a fucking, you know... A dime, dude. And instead, it goes into the house and misses them. Uh, there are sing on uh, it's bubble, soft in Naruto, uh, <laughs> Naruto and wet. <laughs> it throws that motherfucker the fuck out of here. Uh, and unfortunately, Joven is also. I mean, Joshi was also still alive. I wish it just hit. Jo God damn, yo. That motherfucker took out the whole damn estate. <laughs> Holy shit, that's the strongest fucking airplane door of all time. Mitsuba, that fucking traitor's piece of shit. Uh, this is the first time we've seen... I don't think... We haven't seen... Mitsuba... I think in about... I want to say probably like 10 chapters now. The last time I think we would have seen him is when... Um, Calamity hits Jobin, and the Rokaka Rok gets thrown outside. And that would probably be before Endless Calamity, if not the first one, Endless Calamity. But I think it would be before, so it's probably been about a year since we've seen them. And uh, I think that the rest of the family, um, who I don't remember off the top of my head, uh, they, they would have also been within that uh, that time frame. Whoa, holy shit, this is a, a huge drop-off in quality in between one pound and the next. <laughs> oh, look, look at this. <laughs> look at the next fucking battle. <laughs> oh, shit. Um, wow, that's, that's pretty dramatic. But Suba's fucking nose is awful, dude. It's like a fucking Michael Jackson nose. R.P. my nigga Michael Jackson. Oh, so it's not an invisible bubble. The spin that's within the bubble is invisible. That, okay. The logic, I bet that's a big word. I feel like, I feel like the logic is going to be a very... Uh, it's going to be an umbrella term for a lot of things that's happened in the past at this point. <laughs> Your Toru doesn't give a shit. He's going to like punch the phone out of her hand or some shit. Is that a Rokakaka? Oh, he ate the Rokakaka. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. 
Oh fuck. <laughs> oh god, no. That's very this is very menacing kanji. So the thing is, the the spin Josuke has no intention with it, and Yasuho has no intention with it. So it's just like it's it is pretty much autonomous in a sense. So due to that, I guess it can pervade or it can pervade avoid the effect of pursuing the head doctor, quote unquote. That's a very, I don't know, I didn't think Rocky could write around what he did with this power, but it appears that he has, That's in a very effective, consistent way. <laughs> oh, God, Jobin, no. <laughs> well, we did, we finally got to see what would happen if Jobin tried to attack, uh... <laughs> Joshu, I mean, fucking Toru. It wasn't, not Job and Joshu. I keep on getting them fucking mistaken. We saw what happened if Joshu tried to attack uh, Toru, and it did not work out very well. I guess there's like a fucking hole at the side of his fucking stomach, dude. That was like rib cage. That's whole, fucking crazy, dude. Did he know that water's gonna like fuck up those uh those things? There's no way that he knew water's gonna do that, right? Unless it was shown before. You know, I really I really don't be reading these enough. That looks like, appears to be like a really hot um hot like jacuzzi hot tub type thing. So maybe it's not just necessarily drowning, but it's also a kind of a, a burning function. They are like living beings on some level. <laughs> He's going to blow his head off, isn't he? Wow. Holy shit. He's going to blow his fucking head off. Sheesh. RP Toru. Oh, man. Soft and wet go beyond. Oh, my God, dude. He's like a new power. God, RP my nigga Toru is done. <laughs> he is done. I didn't think a Rocky could write a, a past that power. He wrote past Calamity. I thought it was going to be some ass pool, but that's perfect. What the fuck? He's still hot. Mitsuba? Oh, wait. Kano? They brought back Kano. I was wondering for fucking like t almost two years how you're going to bring back Kano. They brought her back somehow, some way. Holy shit. And then Kato sees... Uh, Hopefully, I, I guess, has seen the damage that's happened to her family. And maybe also seen Norisuke being dead. I thought he forgot. I thought Araki forgot. I thought Araki forgot. But Araki did not forgive it. Boys and, 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 and girls. Araki did not forget about Kato Higashi Kato. <laughs> I thought he did, dude. I mean, the coincidences of that probably won't be explained very much, I would imagine, because it's time constraints. I think I'm of the opinion currently at this very moment that this is probably going to be like, this arc right here is probably going to be, like, the final arc. The overall, like, just these two meeting Toru and, and um, Yasuho. And they got to to stay. Like, this is going to be, like, the last arc. So, like, let's say, I don't know, um, Kato, like, kills Toru and, like, is the only healthy person left in the entire area. Everybody else is dead or, or beaten down. Um, that she's probably gonna be the main villain. Or if Jobin, if she somehow heals Jobin, he'll be the main villain. I think that either way, pretty much whoever comes out of this next two or three chapters, like alive, out of the guys we we consume, or not just guys but girls presume are the villains are going to be like the main villain. 
I'm pretty sure that Jobin is going to get like killed by either um, Joe Joe Shu, no Joe Ben, Joe Ben or uh, Kato. I'm pretty sure. But I mean, Kato still has the ability to do that while also being potentially a protagonist. Uh, she could do on the 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 wiles of wanting to get revenge for her. I presume now dead uh husband or former former husband um she could do it because her family just got eviscerated by this guy there's a lot of reasons why she could do it and still be a protagonist but i feel like she was not written into this story just to be um a a shitty mom that got arrested <laughs> i i think she has a lot of uh, ulterior motives that will be now able to uh, have impact with pretty much all of the individuals that could stop her being out the way and temporarily taken out of a uh, commission. That's I think it's about it for me. Uh, Soft and Wet Go Beyond appears to be the name for uh, this is a very cool chapter. Some very interesting panels. Uh, your typical very uh, well drawn out panels where Someone gets their ass beat. Uh, usually they're, they're very high definition. And this was no exemption to that rule. Joshu is unfortunately still alive. I was hoping that would not be the case going out of this arc. But nothing you can do about that. I think we'll see Kato's um, full stand ability too. That should be cool. Uh, peace. Hope y'all enjoyed. And uh, you know, like, rate, share, subscribe. See you next month. Peace.